Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts, right here in the Ranton Sheriff's Milton Day Pilch to the Dome. After a successful trip to town, I didn't fall. I went and got cigarette tubes, right? You needed those because, right, you had the tobacco, you need the tubes, right? Get the little chingadaris and start cranking them out, which I'll do here in a bit. Went and got a pizza and made it all the way in the house without falling down. So life's pretty good that way. And here, after my stomach settles, because it's still riled up, uh, I'll be making some important phone calls to figure my future out. But, that is not why we're here today. Well, I mean, that's why I'm here, but you know, I mean, that's not your fucking problem, it's my problem. <coughs> I was watching a video. Uh, while I was eating the pizza, it's triple pepperoni pizza, by the way. Pick a big Papa Murphy. It was on sale, so I got two of them. So I don't have to go shopping for a couple days. And, uh, you know, some interesting shit kind of got slid across there, you know. And uh, one of those was Count Dankula, man. Uh, if you don't know who he is, you know, he's like a big time YouTube creator. Rantus Interruptus. Anyway, he had come across to his desk a story that North Korea is banning the use of pets for anything other than eating, like dogs specifically. And you think that's really impossible, right? But the thing is, the powers that be all over the world, you know, they follow this communist one world government fucking ideology. And North Korea is on the other side of that, being they, meaning they want to be in the one world government. They are the government as far as they're concerned. You know, same for China, same for Russia, whoever. But North Korea, for the most part, has been a disarmed nation since, oh, I want to say since the Japanese occupied, probably, you know. A lot of these Asianic cultures really aren't big on firearms, right? You know, and there are private firearms, I'm sure, in North Korea, but, you know, like, if you ain't part of the deep state, you ain't get your two-way, you know. But the, the use of keeping pets, like dogs specifically, in Korea is a relatively new thing, apparently. In the early 2000s, see, they had that big famine back in the early 90s, and, like, millions of people died, and the world did not care. They starved to death because fuck North Korea, apparently. I'm indifferent on the subject, like, I think that, you know, North and South Korea is one of them things like Israel and Hamas or fucking Ukraine and Russia, it's just, it's one of those unwinnable wars. And, you know, after the the famine in the 90s, you know, people were defecting in mass, so, like, you know, they had to do something, so... It got to the point where people were starting to keep guard dogs around, and they said, well, the dog is not my pet. He's, you know, he's a tool to keep my stuff safe for the state, right? And they played along with it. And then 2020 happened. And they started starving again. Well, things are getting bad enough there that, you know, the supreme leader, he's he's crying about, well, you ain't fucking making enough babies. Well, you know, we have that problem in the Western world right now, too. There's not enough babies being made. Why? Because people can't afford it. Cost of living, right? Get you higher in the grocery bill, etc. You know, see, see Rantus before us about, like, most all that. Barking yard bastards. Yeah, fitting during a video about dogs. But now it's to the point where, okay, we're having to eat dogs. And people are crying about it. They're like, but, 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 but my dog is my friend. I don't want to abandon him, and I don't want to eat him. Well, tough shit. Uh, when you're hungry, you're going to have to do things you don't want to do. You know, it is what it is. But, but if you think it couldn't happen in a place like America, you're mostly right. And, you know, in time, things could get that bad. You know, this is why we prepare. This is why we do things. Like, imagine having to eat your family pet rover, right? You know, 
I mean, maybe you could eat somebody else's dog. It might make it easier because you're not attached to the animal. But, I mean, it got bad enough in the 90s. There was alleged cannibalism going on in North Korea. Because, like I said, they're, they're the most sanctioned place on planet Earth. It's one of the world's biggest prison camps, essentially. You know, in, in those hard times things, you know, like the Russians had sawdust bread. And Germany did, too. It didn't quite get that bad in the West, but it, it was getting close. You know, or, or fucking... Uh, you know, pine cone flour, or pine, or not pine cone flour. I think they did that too. That that might be a Scandinavian thing. Uh, uh, our fact checker in the uh, Norwegian coast pair will tell us all about that. But acorn flour, fucking eating bugs. You know, like those are things that people have had to do in history, and up to and including eating people. Right. And, you know, I'm not anti-cannibalism. Like, if you're starving, you're starving. You know, like, to, to murder somebody for the explicit use of cannibalism is pretty fucking grotesque and wrong. And kind of Jeffrey Dahmer-ish. However, you know, if you happen to be, like, stuck in the Andes, you know, and your plane has crashed, and, you know, you run out of liquor and chocolates and cigarettes like the, the plane team did, eventually you're going to need to eat, you know? They figured out a way to feed themselves, and a lot of them lived. Now, they weren't right after that. You know, they come home all fucked up when they were finally rescued. But they survived, right? Like Moby Dick, that's another famous story of cannibalism, right? Herman Melville, he actually... He was rescued at sea for a long fucking time, right? And... He ended up living to tell the story about it, you know, the, the fucking Donner Party, you know, you know, Donner Party of Five. That was always a joke. My dad used to pull up the restaurant, you know, see who was paying attention or not. You know, they got snowed in the fucking Sierra Nevadas. And, you know, like, it, it's not uncommon that these things go on. Like, we all hear about what's going on in Haiti. Well, you know, that's the only thing being blasted. It's been going on other places for a long time. Like, I think in recent history, uh, New Guinea, you know, just as of, like, the late 90s, I think the last tribe of cannibals finally died off. Uh, they would just kill and eat each other for fun, you know, ceremonial purposes, whatever. You know, gustatory cannibalism, you know, it, it's a thing. People do it. But but think about how far you're willing to go to survive. Like, like for me, personally, I don't think I can kill and eat my family dog. Okay, now maybe yours at home. I was hungry enough. Sorry, Fido. We got we got to take a nap. You know. You know. Is, uh, are you willing to eat a person? And no, I don't mean in the graphic context of you know like you know put the meat in the mouth thing. You know. I mean in the literal context of you know eating them, right? And, you know, there's always that stigma that goes around it, too. So even if you survive the SHTF, and that's the only way you survived, like, people are going to figure it out. And you're going to be shunned by polite society. Of course, most of us already are anyway. But, you know, like, figure out how far you're willing to go, man. Could you eat a dog? Could you eat a cat, right? Could you eat your neighbor, right? Could you be my, won't you be my barbecue sauce neighbor, right? little Mr. Robinson's world there, you know, a Murphy used to be funny. And on that note, that I've made enough of you probably gag or vomit or laugh or cry or both, you know, uh, I'm gonna go sit upon my butthole and make the telephone calls and, uh, let my food digest and hope it don't come back up. And until we meet again, you know, go out, train, do the things, grow good food, fucking, you know, figure your shit out, you know. Because ain't nobody coming to help you. And look at North Korea. They're fucking, they're boned, you know. Oh, well, uh, you vote your way into communism, you shoot your way out of it, you know. You ain't got the gunpowder. You ain't got the bargaining tools. And uh, that's where I'll leave you on this uh, uh, Thursday edition of the shorts. So, as always, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And uh, I will yak at y'all later.